Hello everybody and welcome to another evil cybertastic bastard motherfucker edition of Hillbilly DVD Reviews. I'm the GOAT. Phil D's nuts coming and at you. And today we're going to be talking about Chopping Mall. A fucking great movie from 1986 directed by fucking Jim Wynorski starring the hotter than ever fucking continue the trend of hot Kelly Maroney movies. She's in it. She's starring as the female lady. And some corny motherfucker named John Trulewski, he plays a fucking stud. The basic plot of this movie is there, the Sherman Oaks Galleria, which they also filmed Commando in. Ooh. It's a shopping mall, and they just got too much goddamn crime. The beginning of the movie sets all that up. They got a little kid, he shows up with an ice cream cone, spills that shit all over. And the yeah. people organize the shit they have with me, and they go, God damn, this shit is too out of control. Motherfuckers going crazy no, in our shopping mall. I know, I know. When I first saw this movie, I thought it was a fucking comedy. I'm watching these fuckers slip their fucking trays over like it was a yeah. fucking goddamn Three Stooges <laughs> like, shit. Like, like, like the beginning of the movie so really focuses shit. on the shenanigans and the yeah, food Yeah, man. So I mean, like, Jim Carrey might as well have been in this fucking there's movie. There's really no real crime in this fucking shopping story, mall. Story. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But for some reason, they're like, man, man. Motherfuckers are too out of control right. in the shopping mall. We need some right. fucking robots to come in here and lay down some discipline. Maybe it was a transformer craze. Maybe it's because the short circuit was so big. I think it was because of the short circuit. Because because yeah. they get these short circuit motherfucking robots to come yeah, in. Yeah, I mean, these motherfuckers are like some Kmart Johnny yeah. Fives, I but, swear. But, Three robots, they show in. They got fucking, they got like little uh, grappling hooks that shoot you and electrocute you. They got laser beams. Laser beams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These robots were patrolling the mall after hours. Next thing you know, there's a fucking lightning storm. <laughs> and lightning hits the top. It goes in. These robots, while they're charging up for the night. A la short circuit. A la short circuit. That's true. I they get over fucking electricity. Next thing you know, these motherfuckers are evil. They're and alive and they're fucking whew. shooting fuckers left and right. They're man. killing technicians. They're killing security guards. These fucking robots are out of control. There's nobody left in the mall to kill after they kill Dick Miller. He's fucking wiping some shit Dick up. Dick Miller, they kill big him. cameo, man. The yeah. motherfuckers in every movie so awesome. Every movie. Almost steals the show. Next thing you know, some kids, they want to fuck. They ain't got a place to fuck. But one of them, a couple of them works in a fucking uh, mattress store in the mall. So they're like, hey, the uncle's away who's uh, who owning this place. Yeah. He's away for the weekend. Let's just hang out in the mall. Pretend, you know, we'll hide in the back room while the mall closes. And then we'll just fuck, fuck in this the mattress. Man, right. Hey, oh, man, these motherfuckers, they have a party and a half in this fucking uh, shopping mall in this little store. This party store. Ever and have. because it's a mattress store, they have beds. They're just oh, fucking man. away. Everybody's fucking. I'll tell you what, Whoa. motherfuckers, 1980s, Los Angeles, they fucking anything and move. Except for Kelly Maroney, she's the one good girl, Which and she hangs out with this nerd Tony Doe who ain't trying to fuck her. So they hang out, they talk while everybody's fucking. Meanwhile, the fucking gets done with, and it, and all the fucking mayhem and horror starts. It starts off some horror. It's like I just fuck. Now I gotta smoke. And she fucking sends John Trulerski down to the fucking cigarette machine. He fucking walks out in the mall, nothing but his jeans on, barefoot, no shirt on. He's trying to buy cigarettes out of a goddamn vending machine. Next thing you know, Johnny Five comes up and shoots his ass like fucking Optimus it's crying crazy, on crack. Man. It's horrific as fuck, man. You're at the mall, some robots are shooting you. Well, like, it's called Chopping Mall. It makes you think it's like a slasher flick and shit. Yeah. Like, uh, these robots don't chop anyone up. Like, like, look, look, like, look at the fucking box. They got a robot hand holding a shopping bag. It's got eyes and feet and shit in it. That never happened. That never happened. That never happened. Never happened. Never happened. I, never, hey, hey, never. I like this movie. I'm going to put it over, but I ain't going to bullshit you. There ain't no shopping bag full I mean, of body I mean, parts and yeah, shit. So that's pretty much the story. You get the idea. The kids yeah, fuck. Yeah. And next thing you know, they're getting, you know, and of course, the one girl who did didn't fuck this being an 80s fucking horror whatever movie the one girl didn't fuck she lives to the end That's and, the rules. She, and yeah. she fucking goes in the paint store and blows these fucking cybertronic bastard motherfuckers up yeah. And then she lives in the end, and that's it. And it's uh, daylight, and the malls are opening back up, and, and, and they no get no sequel. So it's a standalone movie. No you sequel. Can rejoice and be like happy ending, hurrah, hurrah. That being it, as a movie, I mean, it ain't got much depth to it, whatever. But it's entertaining, man. Like some robots killing some motherfuckers in shopping mall. It don't get much better to me. I want to give this motherfucker an eight and a half out of ten. Well, I'll give it a seven just because I wanted to see some chopping shit, and it was just lasers. But it was still good. I mean, seven is good, right? Am I, am I wrong? Am I wrong? It's not bad, but you're just a disappointed motherfucker. Picture and the sound, this being a DVD, Man. of course it ain't gonna shine very much. But what really fucks it up is this motherfucker some 4x3 full screen version. See, what happened when the director made it, because they knew this shit would fucking barely be playing in theaters and going straight to videotape, they didn't shoot it widescreen, they just shot it all square bullshit. And uh, he did that, and for the few theatrical screens, they masked the top off and bomb, made it fake widescreen, but then for the home video, you see everything. So even though this is 
four by three old school square TV. You do see all the image, whatever. You can use your Blu-ray player the well, TV it, to stretch out. If I may, out. if I may, the technical bullshit aside, what he's trying to say is a widescreen version don't exist. It, it ain't they ever going to exist. With it ain't ain't ever, ever going to exist. Never. So you make what this. you see is what you get. And the other thing too is you can tell they didn't remaster this shit. This shit is I'm pretty sure it's from a fucking like a Japanese laser disc or some bullshit. It's not bad. It's watchable. It's a little washed out. Whatever. But it ain't terrible. I'm gonna give the shit picture and sound uh, because it also has just stereo sound. It's not really surround sound. I'm gonna have to give this shit a five out of ten on picture and sound. All right, man. All right, all. you know what? I'll match that shit. I give that a five. I mean. It ain't good, it ain't bad. I wish it was widescreen, but at least you're seeing everything that was fucking shot. On the fucking special features, they actually did a good job on this motherfucker. They got an audio commentary with Jim Wynorski and the writer. They got a fucking special uh, making of the Killbots featurette, which by the way, this movie was also called Killbots for some reason when it was shown on TV, so maybe you've seen this. Maybe it was called Choppy Mall. Maybe it was called Killbots. When it was on USA. It was Killbots. Ago, yeah. When I rented this from Network Video, it was Choppy Mall. But these guys, they go behind the scenes. They got a theatrical trailer. They got a photo guy. These guys, I mean, for a cheap little movie, they tell you everything they remember about making this shit. And I give them a plus for being still alive after so many years. Yeah, and, and the motherfuckers ain't even that old. They explain yeah. how they build the robots yeah. every day. For special features, obscure, whatever, but you still find some shit out. I'm going to get seven and a half out of ten. Yeah, I give it a seven. That's good. It's good special features on that, y'all. So that wraps up the fucking Kelly Maroney theme, whatever. We're in love with her, whether she plays fucking... Uh, girls running through shopping malls or cheerleaders and neither oh. kind. We love her, man. Yeah, she's yeah. hot. No, she's hot as fuck. Ain't she no. got that blonde kind of poodle hair from the yeah, eighties. It's curly. good, man. It's like it's like like you want to fuck her, but then again, you kind of don't. You want to like meet, like take yeah. her home and meet your mom. And yeah, her, I mean, like, you want to you want to Olive Garden or some shit. You, you know? want to fuck her, but you want to fuck her on the third date. One more thing about this movie, I I, I think I would probably give this a six pack though. Like you gotta have like six yeah, pack to enjoy mean, it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean you, you know, gotta forgive some bullshit, whatever. You gotta have a little bit of buzz going on, right? Hey, a girl's fucking head gets blown up by a laser. So it can't be that goddamn bad.